Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, as you can see with the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be talking about Ezra Miller. They've put out a statement and oh golly, is it a good one. There's some things in this which Ezra is saying, it just melts your mind because there's evidence out there which proves Ezra wrong. So we're going to jump straight into it ladies and gentlemen. This is coming from Discussing Film. Ezra Miller has released a statement regarding one of the allegations that was reported about them. One of the allegations. The temporary harassment order issued by the mother of a 12-year-old who accused Miller of acting inappropriately towards her child was lifted today. Now, this is what we got. I'm encouraged by today's outcome and very grateful at this moment to everyone who has stood beside me and sought to ensure that this egregious misuse of the protective order system was halted. Protective orders are meant to provide safety for individuals, families, and children who are in danger. They are not meant to be used as weapons by those seeking attention or fleeting tabloid fame, or some sort of personal vengeance when there are people in true and dire need of these services. I have been unjustly and directly targeted by an individual who the facts have shown has a history of such manipulative and destructive actions. Ezra, you have those manipulative and destructive uh, actions yourself. We've seen it. Hawaii, Iceland, it's all on film and there's police reports. I implore those members of the media who have recklessly spread false claims and failed to accurately report the truth and context of this story to hold themselves to a higher standard and take the time to find the facts, rather than chasing the clicks. Like I said, police reports, there's evidence, and there's video. On a personal note, I want everyone to know that I am continuing to do my best to preserve my own wellness and what I can to reverse the collateral damage this ordeal has brought upon me and, close the, and those close to me. What about all the people who you've done your actions against, Ezra. Finally, to all you many beings in this world who have had the enormous courage to see me through it all and make it here with me, I will spend a long time trying to explain to you what it is meant to have your support. You have my undying gratitude, admiration, and love. And that is just absolutely insane. But again, no. With that there, Ezra Miller is going on and stating... People are out to get me. People are out to get me. They can't do the reporting. They're not looking for the facts. Oh, what's this? Flash that Ezra Miller arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment in Hawaii. 20th of March, 2022. Ezra Miller, who stars in the upcoming DC film The Flash and April's Fantastic Beasts, was arrested by law enforcement in Hawaii on Monday morning. He was charged, Miller was charged, for disorderly conduct and harassment after an incident at a bar. According to a post by the uh, Hawaii County Police Department, officers responded to a report of a disorderly bar patron on Sunday evening at 11.30. Police determined that the agitator had become unruly, while other patrons sang karaoke and had begun yelling obscenities. Miller then grabbed the microphone from a 23-year-old woman singing karaoke and later lunged and a 32-year-old man playing darts. And we have the actual, you know, mugshot there. That is from the police department's official Twitter. You know, he was arrested, charged on offences of disorderly conduct and harassment. Bail was set at $500, which Miller provided with law enforcement, subsequently releasing them from custody. Warner Brothers and everyone else didn't bother commenting on this. Obviously, at the time... This was actually after the video that uh, came about from Iceland, where Miller grabs a woman and throws her to the floor. And it's interesting to see because, you know, when you got this by here with Ezra saying all of this, you know, I've been targeted and all this, I implore those members of the media who have recklessly spread false claims. It's like, right, okay, you're on about uh, claims regarding this? Or are you, oh, there we go. Or are you regarding the actual entirety of what you have done? Because with this one here, 
you know, maybe so. The temporary protective order was dropped, which, again, it's got the word temporary. You know, that's what it means. But again, you were saying all this, that like you were targeted. People are writing false things. You got this one here. And then you also got this one. April 19th of 2022. Ezra Miller arrested for assault in Hawaii weeks after first arrest. This one, he was arrested for disorderly conduct again. He, he was arrested early Tuesday morning after an incident at a private residence. Patrol officers responded to a report on an assault that occurred at a get-together at the uh, Lilani Estate subdivision in Lower uh, Puna. According to the Hawaii Police Department, Miller allegedly became irate after being asked to leave and threw a chair, striking a 26-year-old woman on the forehead and resulting in an approximate half an inch cut. The woman refused treatment for the injury. You know, so they had him there, they arrested uh, Ezra, and that was it. As again says by there, Miller's first arrest came March 28th. And then you had the Hawaiian couple filed a restraining order against Miller the day after the first arrest. The restraining order claimed Miller burst into the couple's bedroom and done that to them. And Miller allegedly stole some of the couple's belongings, including a passport and a wallet. A judge dismissed the order on April 13 at the request of the couple. Now, with that there, because the case was dismissed, doesn't mean it never happened, you know? And what makes this even funnier is when you go into the actual comments regarding all of this with Ezra, you have some people that, well, let's just say it's a little bit crazy and a little bit creepy because I got I need to find it for you now because, like I said, it's just like, oh my days. You know, because you do have about, you know, people saying, and they fired Henry Cavill. You know, that's in the career over in a flash. His words, uh, his words have kidnapped my heart as if they were a Native American child. Yeah, you got that one there. You know, they love to stick by this, which they do. You got people saying roast him and everything else. This statement should have been, uh, should have uh, been allowed when it first came out. Glad they cleared, but wish it came out sooner, see? You know? And you got, remember when Will Smith simply slapped a guy over a bad joke and everyone wanted him blacklisted? But Ezra Miller did a, t a shit ton of crimes in a real-life GTA spree, and you all left them off scot-free. Just saying. Final boss of white privilege. Yeah, that is one of the big things as well. Will Smith goes up on stage because Chris Rock said a joke about his wife, and what happened? Everyone wanted Will Smith gone. Will Smith is banned from the Oscars for a decade. He can't go and accept an award. He can be nominated. If he gets, if he wins, he can't go and accept it because he's not allowed. But with this right by here, Ezra Miller, video of him grabbing a woman by the throat, throwing her to the ground. All these multiple arrests in Hawaii. You got all this stuff regarding him breaking into a neighbor's house to get alcohol. You've even got Warner Brothers coming out and saying, if he gets help, we'll stick by him. So what did Ezra do? Oh, I'm going to get help. That's literally what Warner Brothers did for Ezra. They said, you can do, if you do this, we'll keep you. Yeah? Well, I'm, we'll put out a press release because it'll look great for everyone. Ezra Miller didn't do any publicity for The Flash either. He showed up on the red carpet, waved a little bit, and just disappeared. Because Warner Brothers know that Ezra Miller is a trouble person. They are, 100%. And you got so many things going on here. You know, again, it's, it's just laughable to see how many people are actually sticking up for Ezra after everything they did. But this is the one I wanted to show you because just a reminder, literally all of the allegations have been disproven. Every single one you tweeted about, Jacob. Where are the new tweets about the others? They haven't been disproven. He was arrested. They even state in their little red taxes by here. He got about Ezra Miller was arrested. Oh, arrest on suspicion only. The felonies were dropped. Still arrested. Doesn't mean just because they've been dropped doesn't mean that Ezra didn't do them, you f idiot. People will get drop charges against other people because they fear retaliation. That's why they do it. 
And when you see someone like this person going on and saying this, it just makes you think, is the world going mad? Because that Will Smith analogy which we saw, that is exactly what it is. And that is absolutely what needs to be done. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you soon.